machine shop. Well, today we're going to call it a backyard cabinet shop. Uh, in the process of building cabinets, and they're going to go into the machine shop. Uh, it's a project I've had going on for about a year now, or been wanting to do for about a year. And I just started it. And uh, they're just going to be simple cabinets, cheap cabinets. They built out of some cheap birch plywood. And uh, we're going to, uh, you know, build them and, and hang them up in there, paint them. So they'll look, they'll look decent, but they'll serve a the purpose. Uh, I've already gotten them good ways into it. I've got all the cabinets cut out. You can see them sitting back here. I've got, I actually got three of the boxes assembled, glued up, and then I've got all the rest of them standing over there waiting to go. So what I'm going to do in this video is, um, I've, I've shot a lot of video of doing this, and instead of talking through it as I'm doing it, I just was working, and um, and then I'll give you a narrative now. So basically, what you will first thing you're going to see in the video is going to be the star to show here. It's it's my Rockwell uh, Delta Rockwell uh, 34 350 14-inch table saw. Um, it's built 1952, I believe is what it was. So anyway, I'm running a I usually run all my sheet goods on this saw. I, I usually keep this Duraline, uh, Forest Duraline blade in it, 100 tooth, I think is what it is, 12 inch blade. Uh, it cuts veneers beautiful. Uh, also, I use a lot of dado blades in this saw. So anything with plywood, this saw usually gets gets to call. So you'll see a lot of this saw in the video. Um, first thing that we did, or I did, was I, I designed the cabinets to where I'd get the most out of the plywood and then not very much waste. So I've got a few pieces back here that's wasted, but we got a lot of the, a lot of plywood um, used up and, and then that transfers into square in, uh, cubic feet, I guess, in cabinet space. So we're building six cabinets. We're also building one lower cabinet for another project. So all in all, we've got six wall cabinets being built, one lower cabinet. So, first thing I did on the saw, and, and what I'll do is I'll tell you what I did, and then we'll, I'll start showing some video clips of it. Was I ripped all the boards down to 11 and a quarter inches. So, with the face frames, everything, you know, end up being 12 inches deep. So, we ripped the boards down to 11 inches on the saw, and um, I'll show you that clip now. So.
we've got the sides ripped down, we've got the tops and the bottoms ripped down, then we took them to the compound miter saw, and we cut them to the length. We cut the sides 31 and a half inches, that's what's our cabinet size, it's going to be tall. 11 and a quarter with the three quarter face frame to make a 12 inch cabinet. And then we cut the sides to 30 and a half inches. And what they're cut in to give us a 31 inch wide cabinet. So after we cut them up on the compound miter saw, and the, um, I actually cut some of them up on a big delta radio arm saw. Next thing we did was we come in, we set up our dado blade in this saw. It's a uh, 10 inch dado blade. Set it up for a half inch. So we put a piece of sacrificial material on our fence. Come in and we dated, we actually rabbited around the back and the top of the side wall. And that gives us a recess for the top and the back to go into. Then we took it and we put in a half inch dado across the bottom for the bottom to set into. So now we got a cabinet, we got a we got it set up with a half inch wall, or a half inch back, half inch top, and a half inch bottom, and nice snug fit. Okay, so, next thing we did is we set up the dado blade to cut for these, uh, we're going to use these shelf supports in the cabinet. So, set up the dado blade to cut us a 5 eighths. Uh, dado in here where these shelves will fit in nice and snug and flush. Okay, so I got some video here of the uh, setting up the blade, and I got some video in here of setting up the blade and cutting the dado. So then we cut the dados for the shelf supports. Okay, got those done.
Two and a half inches.
Can cut to work. Got the top cut to work, the sides cut to work. We've got our dados and rabbits cut in them. So now it's basically time to assemble the, the carcass, the, the box. So how we do that, we take the bottom, we take the side, uh, keep all the matching interior in here. And uh, kind of just tap them together. Like I said, these are just cheap throw together cabinets. That they're better than what you can buy cheap, believe me. Uh, most of the time, I just go to uh, Habitat for Humanity and pick up their non wanted cabinets and use them. So, but I decided to build some this time. It's been a while since I built any. So, anyway, we got the bottom, we got the two sides put on. And like I said, this is a nice tight fit. Got it stuck in there. Okay. We're going to put the top in the rabbit. We're just going to take and use a clamp to hold it together. Okay. Just want to stay together while I put this demo. I'm not gluing it or anything. We just hold it together. Alright, so we got our our backs down here and ready to go. Let's square this up a little bit. Let's see, we got 44 inches. We got 43 and 7. So we need to make it this one about 13 or 15. And 15. Might have been for that. And so our back goes in. Like I said, our back is just half inch, same material. That's the rest. I chose half inch one I don't want a good strong point to hold on the wall. So holds right in. Alright. Little glue, little nails, got a cabinet. Alright guys, that's probably going to be a wrap for today. Um, I decided to do this this way. One, I've been real busy at work. And so when I do get time to come out here, it's it's really not that much. So I've just been working, working as fast as and hard as I can. So all this, plus it's dusty. And I don't like using my good camera out here and it's dust. So. I've got a little camera that I'll, I'll set up. You'll see it set up on the lathe, real tight shots. You know, if something happens to it, I'm not really that concerned with it. It takes good pictures, good video, but it's kind of my, uh, I don't know, I ain't going to say sacrificial because I don't want to hurt it, but it's my little daredevil camera. So, so this is what I've, I've been doing. I just, like I said, I just set the camera up somewhere and, and, um, and just work. So you won't see a whole lot of, of talking and might even see some things that probably shouldn't be on video. Um, probably have to edit out some of the some of the language. You never know. So, uh, like I said, this is going to be the end of this video. Uh, thanks to all of my many subscribers, my new subscribers, uh, all who leave comments. Um, thank you very much. Uh, so, from the backyard machine shop. So long.